Hey, Brian from Garage Wall Hall. Um, if you've been following my videos on this Western digital, like, disaster, um, you will know that I've been trying to find a solution for everybody out there, including myself. We became too dependent on my cloud, Western Digital, for storing our data. And even though I had, like, my drive sitting right here, it's local. I had no way to access it except for a couple of uh, file folders that were just basically impossible until today to get access to. So if you're dead in the water, like I was, I finally came up with a solution and uh, I'm gonna have a, a technical solution moving forward that can replace the MyCloud Dual, something I think that might be relatively easy that basically anybody out there can do. If you can plug and play your MyCloud, you'll be able to follow me along to come up with a long-term solution moving forward. Because if you're like me, you have zero trust in Western Digital moving forward, like for the MyCloud series. Yeah, they make great drives and everything else, and I'm probably going to use a couple of their drives and everything. But moving forward, MyCloud services, I will never use them again. Anyhow, so um, I will put this link in the description, but it's basically it's support-en.wd.com slash app slash answers slash detailed web slash a underscore id backslash five zero six two six in case you can't see it in the description that's basically it and if you scroll down i've been looking for this for days and days and days before i came across it um, it's basically going to give you kind of like your your my cloud home and sandisk and everything else so the physical method is basically what we, we are basically going to be doing uh, for windows it's basically going to be uh, HTTP dot backslash backslash MyCloud dash and the last six of your serial, which you can find underneath your drive. Make sure you unplug it, power it off, unplug it, flip it over, and you'll see S dash N, and then you'll see the last six of your serial. You can also find it here. So if you open up your network folder, and it's basically uh, my computer on Windows, you scroll down to your network and you click on network left click two quick left clicks and then you're going to get like uh up for me it's up in a corner and it comes out to be like drive z if you're lucky enough to get that but it's basically it's my cloud all caps dash and the last six of your serial number you can copy it right from here right off your network uh write it down you probably have to type it in i don't think it will actually let you copy the name of it but you'll you'll understand what i mean from there and then you go to a browser page and then you are basically going to put HTTP colon backslash backslash uh, my cloud all caps dash and then last six of your serial number and you press enter. And what it's going to do is it's going to bring you to the familiar my cloud uh, page to log in. It's a little bit different, but you'll see the logo and whatever your drive is in particular for that. And then at the bottom, it's going to have a, a login for you to log in locally. When you do that, it's going to bring you, I would show you, but I've already done it, but it will bring you to another page and it will ask you for um, your logon credentials based on what you did with um, MyCloud. And you don't even have to enter that precisely. I did just to kind of like duplicate the whole process, but you enter your um, email information and what your password is for MyCloud. And what it will do is it'll send you an email and it'll send you a six digit code, I believe. And then it'll bring you to another page for MyCloud to enter this locally. And once you get there, you're gonna enter your um, email address, your password, and it's gonna ask you for uh, the code. And then it's gonna ask you to basically um, make a local username and a local password. I basically kind of kept mine the same I used the beginning of my email and then a, you know, a string of, of, of numbers that I could remember after that. And then a password underneath that. Same thing that I basically use from my cloud services, just so I could easily remember, get through the crisis and get access to it. Once that happened, I was able to go back to my network folder because then it, it basically kind of like said, okay, you're logged in, but like it didn't let me access anything. But then when I went back to my cloud, and if you follow my videos, you always had the public folder 
and you always had the time machine backup, which is kind of like for like the Mac system, but then you had your local drive to your left, and it gives you all your files back. Like, oh my goodness, this was just like, it was crazy. But everything was there. I immediately took my critical folders that I wanted, and I did save them to my tower, because I, I just don't trust the, the my cloud drives anymore. But that is how you get in. If you have any questions at all, feel free to uh, leave me a comment and I will get back to you as much information as I can and help you walk through the process. But again, I'm sorry I can't visually show you on here because I did the process and I tried to replicate it and wouldn't let me back in um, like from scratch zero. But it will work for you, I guarantee you. Um, send me any comments that you need and I will promise I will answer as many as I can and help uh, anyone and everyone out there to, to get access to to your drive again but anyway that is the secret it's basically the HTTP colon backslash my cloud your serial number and then I will bring you to an access screen that you can access all your information locally so if you have any trouble at all, again, reach out to me. I'm here to help. That's my mission here online. And, uh, yeah. All right. Anyway, uh, Brian from Garage Mahal. Thank goodness we got this. Uh, be safe out there.